be making bases. What's good YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the content if you like the video. But without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so what we're going to be doing is another viewer uh, slash subscriber topic. We have Don Dottie said, can you do a video on how to make a producer tag? And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I will preference this on my beats. I do have a tag that was made by another company. OK, the reason why is this because, you know, sometimes just like if you're a rapper, you know, that also makes beats. Sometimes you don't always want to just have your own beats. Like think about Kanye, you know, Kanye raps and produces, but he still gets beats from other people, even though he can make all of his beats. So the same concept here with the producer tag. I mean, just want to preference that. So if you hear you hear my beats and you hear a producer tag on there, um, I didn't do that one. But I have done producer tags before in the past on my beats. And so I know the concept and I know the process of making one. I'll show you now. So first things first, we want to go ahead and create an audio track. And what we're going to want to do is make sure that you have the right input on here. So like, for instance, I'm using this Scarlett 2i2 um, audio interface or digital audio interface. I'm actually using a different mic, though. So my mic is not actually plugged into this uh, Scarlett. So what I want to do is go to my input and select the mic that I'm using. I'm, I'm using a Yeti stereo mic. Um, and so we'll go ahead and apply that. And that way, when I record my track, it's going to have the right input and we're not going to get dead silence. So now that we have that selected, we're going to go ahead and create our audio track. And from here, um, I'm just going to actually mute this out. And the only reason I'm muting this out is so there's not a feedback loop since I'm using the same mic to record this video as to record on here the um, producer tag. But we'll just come up with an arbitrary uh, producer name. Let's say the, um, the producer's name is Firebeats. OK, so basically the first step here is to go ahead and record the audio of fire beats so let's do that i'm just gonna push r quick key fire beats all right let's listen back fire beats all right bet so now that we have the uh the audio sample here the next thing i want to do is go ahead and trim off this dead silence right here just clean it up and then we can just bring this to the very beginning let's listen to it make sure it sounds right fire beats all right all right, I'm just again, I'm just muting this because I don't want to have like a feedback loop. But anyway, let's keep on going here. The next thing I would recommend doing um, is going ahead and pulling this and dragging it into the quick sampler. OK, reason why is because you can pitch it up and down easily, um, pretty easily and do things like stutters and all types of stuff with it. So let's go ahead and take it. We're going to drag this over to the quick sampler. And now we have the uh, sample right here. So check this out. Next thing I'll do is just put a fade on this. OK, it's a basic fade, nothing too crazy. And I'll also move this guy over to the very, very, very beginning. And I could either pitch it this way where I turn it down here or I'm just going to go on my, my MIDI keyboard and play it in different you know, pitches. So fire, fire beats, fire beats, fire, 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 fire beats. I'll put up musical typing just so you can see what I'm doing. Fire beats. All right, so that sounds pretty dope. Fire beats. So now this is where you can do like dope little stutters, like 808 Mafia type of style or anything like that. If you want to add that in there, or if you just want to pitch it down um, a couple of octaves, or make it a couple of octaves high, you can do it like that. Fire beats. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, you know, it's a pretty simple concept. But now let's go ahead and record that. Um, let's do that now. Beats. All right, bet. So it has a little stutter to it. Um, the next thing we'll do, we'll just listen to it to make sure it, it came in right. 
Fire Beats. Dope. So next thing I'll do is I'll right click this and we're gonna bounce it in place. This is gonna turn it back into an audio file. Voila, same process here. We're gonna go ahead and trim off the uh, dead space here. And now this is where we can actually come in here and do other cool things like add effects um, and even make it do like a tape stop effect and different things like that. So we'll come down here and I'll, I'll start adding some effects. So let's see. First thing obviously is to go ahead and add some EQ. We'll put a little loop on it. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Next thing we can also do is go ahead and add like a, um, like a basically like a, um, a compressor. I use MV2 to do my compressors, compression on this, and it does a real good job. So let's boost this up a little bit. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. So we just basically boosted the signal a little bit made it sound a little bit more fresher. So from there, we can add some other effects like uh, flanger if we want to. Then we could also do something called, uh, well, actually, we can use the um, remix effect to do some cool stuff to this as well. So I'll go ahead and turn on my latch option here under read, and then I can like screw, screw and chop this basically. Let's, let's see what we got going here. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire if that one doesn't work like with the remix effect you can also do like a slow like a slow tape stop effect by pushing T and going down to the fade tool Do it like this, do slow down. You gotta basically play around with this a little bit. I low key don't like the uh, the stutter on this to be honest with you, so I'm gonna take that out of the out of the equation. Fire B. Fire B. And sometimes it, it is it's it's better if you just keep it simple. But as you can see in the video, you could, there's I'm showed you how to do a couple of different cool tricks on it, but. Real life situation here, I'll probably just go ahead and just do like a simple delay. 
Turn that wet down song. Fire beats. You can draw these notes, like draw these in here, and it can echo like a couple different times, like three times. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Let's see, we got to get rid of that tss, tss sound. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Come over here, mess with the presets. Pretty dope. Fire beats. Beats. So let's say if you wanted that, basically now we can come over here and um, we could actually just to make sure we get all of that uh, the echo or that, that, that delay. You know, bring this little guy right here all the way here. Say right, maybe right, right there, and then we we'll just go ahead and bounce the session. Do it as an MP3. You don't have to be a wave, or you can do it as a wave. Now I can come back in here and. We'll see if they, you know, see if it sounded right. Get rid of this. Fire beats. So that's the only problem is like it, it, it doesn't like keep on going, you know what I'm saying? So a way to get around this is like, so check this out. This is what you can do to get around this is you can actually record some like dead space. This is like a simple trick. Yo. So I can just take this little dead space here. This is just a little trick that I've learned along the way that you could do. However long you want this to extend out to, you can just put it out like maybe say right here. And then like click right here and then uh, we'll just join this track together. So of course command J is the way the quick key to do it, but I'm just showing you this way. Boom. So now with this uh, effect, the delay effect is gonna go all the way out to the very end. Fire beats. Beats. So now let's go ahead and bounce this down again. Or we can even export this, to be honest with you. So we'll just export it. Beats. 
Okay, and then that could be your producer tag. You can keep on come over here and doctrine it up a little bit more if you want. You know, since since you have it as an audio file, you know, I can come over here again and just add some more effects to it if I want to. So I can come over here and say, all right, let me let me pitch it down some again. Fire beats. Beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. Fire beats. beats. This is where it could be good to go ahead and do like this fader tool where we can go ahead and basically make this like a um, tape stop effect, slow it down. Fire beats. Yeah, so that sounded pretty dope like that. Cool, so we have that. We can also go ahead and maybe boost this back up. It seems kind of a little, little low. So I'll boost it back up. We can add a different, you know, we could do a stock of uh, compression on it as well. Fire beats. Yeah, that sounds hard. So we can just go ahead and we can bounce this in place if we wanted to. Um, let's listen to it. Fire beats. All right, and then what you could do now is just put a regular fade on it. So, like, that way it sounds smooth. And just make sure it doesn't say slow down when you click on fade. And basically, like I said, all I'm doing is pushing T and then scrolling down to fade tool. Fire beats. So now it's smooth. And then, like I said, like if you wanted to do like a stutter effect, you can come over here and dra drag it in the quick sampler. And now we can do like a stutter effect with the piano. Again, I don't, I don't really, I'm not going to do the stutter effect. I don't really, I mean, I'm not as good at the stutter effect like that, but you know, honestly, you get the, you get the point. You can, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this, but hope this helps, man. Um, for y'all who want to make your own and maybe not, you know, go with somebody else who does, um, producer tags or whatever, but y'all that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. We out.